Hi, welcome to the project team video series. We're continuing on with the design bid build delivery method. If this is your first video on the series, please click this playlist link right here and that will take you to the beginning or at least to the videos that you might have missed. Hi, welcome back. My name is Chris Conkle and this channel is all about helping you master construction so that you can become an industry leader. We're continuing on with the design bid build delivery method. Today we're going to be going over the architect's organizational matrix. Okay, this is the traditional delivery method, design bid build, and this is the architect's organizational matrix. We went over the owners, we have gone over the um uh like the general uh the general idea of design bid build, we also discussed what types of contracts come from where. Okay, so in a design bid build delivery method, the architectural organization, like the architect's organization, is 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 this. Okay, so the the idea of showing you all this is so that you can study for your PMP certification. Okay, um, or just to learn more about uh, the actual. Uh, delivery method this design bid build delivery method for constructions okay uh, this is the the most widely used delivery method still even today and um, so this this is demonstrates how complicated construction is okay I had to break down into several videos this design bid build delivery method okay because it's just so complicated and um, I just had to, to break it down so now the architect's organization, okay, so the principal in charge is the ultimate decision maker uh, involved in obtaining the contract. So this is like the CEO, the like the boss, the owner, who uh, goes out and gets the contracts from the owner. This, this person is also the direct uh, line of communication, uh, high level of communication with the owner. Okay, so in order to get to the owner, you have to get through... Uh, this level of, of um, organization or you have to go through the uh, as a contractor you have to go through the project manager to get to the owner okay so there's different levels there which at the end last video we're going to be going over the entire communication process okay so the principal in charge will hire the or assign the project manager the project manager works just like a, a project manager in, uh, for a, a contractor in the sense that they'll have multiple jobs going on at once and they're equally responsible for each job. Okay, so the project manager, okay, in charge from start to finish, may have multiple concurrent jobs on the go re and responsible for each one, we just said. Uh, primary contact for the owner's representative. Okay, so the owner's rep will talk to the project manager and the principal in charge will talk to the owner, okay? So these guys are the direct liaison with the contractor's project manager, we discussed that. So change orders and evaluates the validity of change orders. So this guy is going to approve change orders, okay? So he's gonna, any major massive changes, the principal in charge will be the ultimate decision maker, but uh, for the day-to-day -day change orders, the project manager will validate them and uh, approve them or disapprove them. The project architect, okay, the project architect is the guy who is in charge of uh, the design and also explaining the intent of the design and the interpretation of the design, okay? So when RFIs and things like that come in, it's the project architect who gets those clarifications done, okay? Um, so he also, or she also coordinates Designers, architects, engineers, drafts people, specification writers, and the sub-consultants, sub right? So there's a lot. There's a lot of uh, a lot that goes into the uh, contract documents, that goes into the design construction documents, right? So um, there's a lot of people involved. Okay, so the, the sub-consultants, okay, are going to be civil, environmental, structural, mechanical, electrical, engineers, and interior designers, okay? So the engineers are subconsultants, which they is indirectly related to the project architect because the project architect uh, goes to them for certain things, right? Um, the contract administrator now uh, is uh, will process all the information, okay? So the contract administrator uh, will, will process shop drawings, uh, progress payments, RFIs, 
change orders and um, like we'll record all of the correspondence uh, for the project, right? And we'll hold the meetings and, and uh, distribute meeting minutes, right? So the contract administrator will be involved in the day-to-day -day construction basically, right? So they know uh, what's going on and they have the, they're the ones who relay the information to the uh, our project architect, which, you know, goes up the chain, right? So there's so many things going on here, right? So specialty coordinators uh, are there for basically like uh, they're outside inspection agencies. Um, they'll, they'll, they'll belong to like the, the, the manufacturers of the equipment that have been facilitated in the building. So they're there for equipment startup and testing right um also things like uh, guys like project engineers or um power engineers who uh you know program the um uh, hvac systems and all that uh will be in the specialty coordinators right so that's uh, the architects organizational matrix it's, it's actually um this is pretty cool stuff i mean it's so there's so many things going on in construction. It's really hard to, uh, to to explain in one simple video. So make sure you put all of your questions down in the comments below. I will answer all of your questions. Join us on the Discord. I'm gonna put a special link to the Discord, um, and I will. I'm gonna start a channel on the Discord specifically for the uh, the project team series. Okay. So right now we're doing design bit build. My next video will be on. Um, the con like I'm gonna get into contract management, uh, building information modeling, and all that stuff. Let's like I promise. Go back to the other videos. You'll see if you're following, been following the series. You guys know I'm gonna have. A, there's probably a few more videos that come out to wrap up the design, bid, build, delivery method. Uh, it's the most widely used delivery system, and it's complicated as heck. So um, just check it out take notes ask me anything you want to know down down below in the comments if you're new to chris conco vlogs make sure you subscribe right down below youtube thinks you might like this video behind me here so give it a watch and i put the uh, project management uh playlist right down there below that video for you guys to catch up on all my project management videos um yeah this is chris everyone bye for now